Hello again, and this tutorial is for Worksheet 109, finding the slope and equation from a graph called the slope-intercept method. Okay, So sometimes you will just be given a graph with nothing on it, and you need to use this graph to calculate the slope and the equation. Okay, oh, this should be format. Okay, slope and the equation. Now, from Worksheet 107 and 108, you learned how to make a graph, okay? You had the formula, and you had to calculate the coordinate points, and then you can plot the points and draw a line through it, and you have a graph, okay? So this time, you are given the graph, and you need to work backwards, okay? So, what are you going to do? First, we need to calculate for the slope. Now, remember when I told you why you always had to keep this format, y is equal to 3x plus 2, okay? Instead of 3x plus 2 equals y or y equals 2 plus 3x. Although all of them mean the same thing, okay? I wanted you to follow this format because of this. Okay, that equation is the format for the, the formula of the line, okay, of this particular line, okay? So that was why I wanted you to follow that particular order in writing your formulas, okay? So with keeping that in mind, okay, let's look for the slope, okay? Let me write the formula here, y equals mx plus c, okay? With m being the slope. Now remember the slope is the steepness of the line, okay? It's how steep the line is, how much it slants, okay? Does it slant this much, this much, or does it slant to that way, okay? It's the steepness and the direction of your line, okay? So to calculate for slope, we are going to use rise over run, okay? We are going to use the rise over run. What in the world is rise over run? Rise means the up and down, okay? How much up or down your line is going, okay? And, rise, and run is how much to the left or to the right, okay? So keep that in mind, rise, rise is up or down, run is left or right, okay? Now, what you need to do is to, tr is to trace a route, okay? From this point to this point. How did this point get to this point? We need to count the boxes, okay? So let's do rice first. Now, from this point, it went up by 1, 2, 3. So we call this rice positive 3, okay? Now, remember, every time a line goes up, okay, it is positive, Okay, now let's look at the run. So from this point, I will count to the other dot. So we moved one block. So the run is positive one. Every time it goes to the right, it is positive. Okay, up is positive, right is positive. So Let's assemble it. Rice is on top. So what is your rice? Your rice is positive 3. And your run is positive 1. So let's simplify. That is equal to positive 3. So your slope is positive 3. Oh, sorry. So your slope is positive 3. Okay. And that means the type of slope, because the slope is positive, 
therefore you have a positive slope meaning the slope is leaning or slanting to the right okay now let's talk about the y intercept the y intercept is the constant see the constant now the y intercept is where very easy to find it's where the dot intersects the y axis now this is the y axis see y so where the dot is that is the y intercept to intercept means to cross okay so this is where the line crosses because there is that coordinate point over there and if we count it remember this is negative this is positive okay going up to the right is positive going left going down is negative so this would be negative one okay let me make my negative one so our y intercept which is our constant is negative one so now since we have our slope okay and we also have our y-intercept we already have everything we need to make our equation following this format okay so we have y equals mx plus c what is our m our m is 3 okay so m is 3 so let's write that y is equal to 3x okay let me let me just use another color for that y is equal to 3x plus and what is our constant okay what is our constant our constant is the y intercept okay our y intercept and therefore our constant is negative one so no problem even if it says plus but your constant is negative one okay all you need to do is to change the sign to negative negative one and there is your constant okay and here's your slope so this is your formula Woohoo! okay now do you think it's correct? No, I don't know. You need to check by substitution. So let's check by getting the coordinate points. Now you remember how to get the coordinate points from the other um, worksheet, 108 and 107. Okay, so let's take the coordinate points of this. Y is 0, X is negative 1. Remember, the order is always X first, Y next, okay? And this one, the x is here, okay, and this is negative 1. And y, 1, 2, 3, 4, is negative 4. So this point is negative 1, negative 4, okay? So we have identified the location of the two points. So now let's check by substitution. Let's check the first point. Let's use dark blue, okay? Let's check this first point. 0, negative 1. Now remember, x first and then y, okay? So our formula is y equals 3x minus 1. Now, what is our y? Uh, y is negative 1. Y, okay? So negative 1 is equal to 3. And what is x? x is 0, Okay, minus 1. So let's continue. Negative 1 equals 0 minus 1. Negative 1 equals negative 1. Oh, why did I write 7? Correct. Okay. Remember, our goal is to substitute the values and to see if the left side will be equal to the right side when we're done calculating. Okay, so, so far so good. We are correct for the first one. Now let's try the second one. Minus 1, minus 4. 
okay the coordinate points now remember the first is x the second is y start with your formula minus one what is y y is negative four so negative four equals three and what is x x is negative one minus one okay so negative four equals negative three because three times negative one is negative okay negative times positive is negative okay minus four equals minus four correct so as you can see our formula okay our formula when we tested it by checking by substitution <clears throat> gave us equal answers therefore the formula is correct okay now in the next pages um you will be doing this you can refer to this okay or you can watch the video tutorial again okay so hope this helps bye bye